What's up guys, Tech Hit Geek here. So, the past couple of days I've been playing on PS4 and I kind of got a feeling just to see how different it is from the PS3. One of the things I've noticed is that it still feels like a PS3 just redefined for the PS4. Like if anybody remember that old menu from the PS3 one, I think they call it the XMB bar or whatever with the menu, where it still has that, but now it lets you kind of just go to certain areas and just pull down and you can just get all your access to your apps or your games or anything like that. It feels like it's something similar that you used back when you had the PS3, but it's still, it's, it's a brand new upgrade, but it still feels a little similar to the PS3, so you don't feel like you're jumping into a whole brand new OS. One of the first things I would like to talk about now is the controller. And the controller still feels like the usual PS PlayStation controller. One thing that's different now, it has a touchpad on top where you can kind of, I guess certain games will have certain access to them where you can just use certain gestures on that trackpad. And also it has a speaker in the front, so sometimes when you play certain games, I guess when you get messages or something like that, you can hear the message through the controller. So it's kind of a unique way. You'll see how the developers use that over time. And I must say, I don't have any games for it right now. Right now, I just downloaded uh, Outlast. It was a free game I got with PlayStation Plus, so I kind of, you know, got my hands on that one. But as far as some of the newer games that's coming, I'm not really interested in Second Son. It's not like, I'm not really a big Killzone fan, so it's not like a lot, of, a lot for me to play. But, you know, eventually it will be a game that I will like, and I will get my hands on it, and just hopefully, you know, it be the best game that I'll play on it. Right now, if this is just 48 hours I had with it, so right now it's... Real simple, real easy. It's not really complicated. Looking forward to see what they have in the future as far as games and things like that. You know, it's a big rip between the Xbox One and the PS4, how they run at 1080 One runs at 1080p, one doesn't run at 1080p as well. That don't mean nothing to me. Because in the end, if a game is corny, it's corny. It's not just because the game looks good, don't make it good. That's just my opinion. I've been playing games for years. That's just how I feel. So now, when it comes down to it, I'm not all oh, that graphics, that 1080p. Yeah, that sounds good. But is the game good? That's just how I feel nowadays. I don't care how good the game look. It, it could be the most gorgeous game you ever saw. But if it's still corny, it's just corny. So that's where I'm at right now. I've been playing with it for 40 hours. Just trying to give you my little opinion and my thoughts about it. Just hopefully, you know what I mean, something good comes out later on. I really enjoy it and really hope that, you know, this was a good investment for me. Look, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of the PS4 if you have one. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Are you waiting for something special to come out for it? Do you like the PlayStation Plus? Anything you have, just leave a comment down below in the comment section. I want to hear what you guys think. And hit that subscribe button as well. And also hit that like button because it kind of helps me out over here. And I really appreciate all the things that y'all do for me. And I want to thank you guys. And I'll see you in my next video.